it's might as well get straight straight to the face. That's the only thing that's really shall we say untouched. So let's get uh, go in here, see. And if you'll forgive me here, sticking my arm in front of you, I needed to readjust things, clean up. Things got a little and uh, maybe I should have most of my over on this side. But anyways, all right, here we get this one more tool. Where is it? And if you do not want to pop up, then I'm just going to have to find a replacement then if you don't want to come up then. All right, here we go. Uh, as I've mentioned many times before, is that uh, when you start doing a rough out, especially if it's a rough out of a, um, a character caricature. In fact, let me zoom in a little bit. And then we want to, when we get to the nose, and there's other characters or characters or whatever that you want to watch since the, the bit comes around, we don't want to put, and since we know that the tip of the nose is comes out the farthest and it comes down but we want we do not want to go here because you're going to take a lot of that nose off and you'll see that if we go here it's the right thing to do furthermore worst case in his this case we can even do it a bulbous nose but i'm going to right about here because we can always bring it back you hear that a million times and you can always Cut wood off, you just can't put it back in. And so what I'm gonna do is right here, do one of these, do one of these, keeping in mind that his head is tilted a bit here. Now, and I can get quite a bit of wood out of there because since the, the router bit could not get in there. All right, I might, no, I want, I'll come back later, make sure, come back later to the nose, but I want to get the eye socket in. At least get it started now, as I've showed you in the olden days, I start, sometimes I start with a knife, well, especially when it comes to a block of wood, in other words, we're doing a cutout, I would use the knife. But since this is a rough out, and since I want to change things up a little bit here, let me turn here. Oh my, don't hurt yourself now. So let's take our... Is, is, is this going to be... Is my number 11 10 mil? Is that going to be too big? Or is it going to get enough to get started? Let's be just have to take some out there. And so we're going to come down and watch the cheek and, and the nostril. Yeah, I think this is too big. <laughs> and just kind of pull that out of there. Be, <clears throat> being mindful that we want to keep the cheek up, the nose up, but the eye is down, and we've got plenty. Um, there are different ways of, of carving the eyes in, but we've got plenty of wood is the reason why I kind of do it this way. You know what? That was too big. Where's my number? There he is. Number 11. Yeah, there we go. And down into the tear duct. Come around. Down into the tear duct. Let those two. And get out of there. And then kind of come around. These away. <sighs> Leaving just a little bulge, or even if you don't leave a bulge, we still got left enough wood. A lot of times I don't. Oh, sorry. Nose first. Uh
take my since we got that the main thing is we we've kind of committed to the eye socket as it were in the eyes I'm just going to trim this just to look, get a little trim oops that's got a little down farther that's that's fine and there's going to be a lot of a lot of forehead to be coming off so this is like a layer this is kind of like the, the just catching and we're still I'm still doing the eyes and the nose but this I'm just kind of like a kind of a little catch up that keep keep up Right, where is my number? This one here, number nine, about eight, five, five ish mil. And I want to take right here this end to this end. You, can, you know what? You can pencil it in. I get to a point where I just do it without, but let's pencil it in. So this nose is pretty wide. We can always trim it, but uh, we can also leave it wide. Most of the time I do for Santa's. Straight down. Mm. Just give it a good oomph right here. Take the little, little boogers out of there. Get some of those boogers out of there too. Pull that a little more. <coughs> Take this upside down. About a 30 degree angle this way. 30 degree angle this way. I just want to do a little bit of cleaning, a little bit of, a little bit of this, a little bit of this. out of there so there we're getting we're getting going there we're getting started now pencil you can see how the face comes here it comes around here making sure it's around here That's a bad put in one of your many um, mustaches. That's like always like a big happy one. Always when it comes to like when the traditional Santas and stuff like this, I put the happy, happy, happy kind of uh, um, mustache in. But usually when it's like an old world Santa. Then I might like come down like this and something like that, or even farther down. So it's up to you. Uh, sometimes I like instead of the go all the way to the end, I like to probably just go right here. Mustache. I've done that. Oh, there's so many different. Some people like to have more wisp, and they come up. There's a nice little circle right here. Or not circle, I'm sorry, a nice little bend like this. You can do that too. 
Oh, you can do just about anything. But I like the, I want to say my signature mustache. I don't know if that's the best way to put it. I'm sure others. Now, when I take my feet, I'm the, the left fin or blade is up. And the right blade is flat. And that's basically just getting started with this. Because what we're trying to do is we're trying to pull that head out. Pull that head out. Oops, I think I might be taking too much off on this side. I think I had. Mm. That's one bad thing about these kind of mitts. It doesn't have the rubber, the anti-slip rubber. However, I've had the ones that had the rubber beads, but then it really leads a lot of black marks all over your carving. So, plus these things are durable. Holy smokes. Around that cheek. Like that. Like that. This is kind of a stiffer piece of wood, but the one good thing about stiff wood that's a rough hot is you don't have to cut as much. You don't have to let things fly. Let's see, I did get that. So the rest is now, I'm debatable on doing the same thing by just simply going in and, and do the beard, but I like to give it a quick clean. Oh, by the way, this this guy has an ear. I forgot about that. Before I do that, I'm sorry. This guy's got an ear. Forgot about that. I'm sorry. I mean, it would have... You know, because if I would have started doing the beard and clean, that, clean this up, then I would have probably goofed it. See, the ear goes to about here, so I'll add a little extra. You can always come back and the beard will probably, or the top of the ear will come on top or underneath. And so, see the ear goes forward or back, I can't remember. Anyways, let's get our V, let's do the ear, get it done. This one has only one ear because the other ear is covered so you can get away with it. Now you don't have to put the ear in either. A lot of times when I do uh, classes, I'll ask, and they'll say, no, I don't want to put the ear in. Oh, come on, this is the reason why. So you can learn, no, okay, put it all beard, or not beard, um, hair. Come on, get out of there. I just hate that when it, just a little, one grain of, not grain, one, Fiber. Let's tell it's on too. Now, now we're moving some of this around. Let me move some of this around. Just so I can shape the ear. I'm getting this kind of like getting this out of the way for the ear. So we can work with the ear because we're going to be coming down here quite a bit. So just to start the ear. Now that you got that shape in, let's see, by camera, yeah, it looks like it's good. If I look at the camera now, first thing I want to do is this part is going to be out. This is going to be in.
There you are beginning to see the ear. And the ear tucks into the into the hair there. The sideburns. Just a little bit of this might help. Let's see if I can do a little bit of clean up with the When you get a V2, sometimes a V will help you clean clean up, or instead of blowing onto it, where is my, there it is. And of course, like I said, this is really going, I want to say fast pace, because like I said, I want to fit this in a, a normal day's worth, or normal, what is it, hour and a half, two you can always slow this down all right still shape in the ear oh there all right, I won't do too much detailing of the ear right now, but just enough for for us to have it in. But getting right back to maybe just a quick, yeah, this is a kind of a hard piece of wood, but it's a good thing I don't have to do too much digging. Yeah, we gotta get back to the pouch. You know, do we really need it that close up? Just a little bit there, a little bit there. Yeah, just kind of the audacity of where you, you cut there, you cut there, and that should pop off, and it doesn't. The audacity. I'm the one with the sharp knife here. I guess I just wanted to give it a good clean. I think I was getting into some some of the semi details along the way. an extra here. Watch the tip as you turn. Watch the tip.
Just taking the marks off. I think what's missing on the face here is taking the The marks off of the face. Okay, I want to make the head just a little deeper down. A little deeper. Round this a little bit. There we go. Come back this way. Actually, come down here. Shape it a little bit. Oops. Okay. Now, one thing I want to do before I get into the beard, because as I was going back there, I have a feeling I may forget that pouch. I'll bet you I will forget that pouch. So. So I penciled that in like that. That's I'm pretty well happy with that. I mean, there's still going to be some more shaping. I would like to get more, I don't want so much undercut, but at least you don't want it to come flat like that. And so almost like an undercut, or maybe some undercut. So you see a shadow that tells you that this is a separate piece. This is separate from the Santa. It isn't part of the coat. So get some nice shadowing going on in there. <sighs> Same with here. From the arm, some nice shadowing going on. I need that pencil mark out of there. For some reason, it just, I know the knife is fairly sharp, it just, I get these little things like I'm. Like I have a dull knife, but same with on this side. Same with here. Now when we do the hair, I mean, there'll be more to it than this. Let's just get it started here. 
because I want the hair to rest on Now, like I said, I think we'll be, it will be hiding the, what do you call it, the, what holds the pouch. I think we'll, we'll just put a little bit of this and this, and hopefully when you put a little bit of that corner in there, Oops, just a little bit, so we don't have to have too much of a strap going on in there. Again, we want the strap to be separate from the Santa suit, separate from the hair. So just by having this little thing here, It's getting kind of dull here. do take the v-tool again I'm going to put the this blade out and the other blade on the pouch I can't So use the and it's like a chisel. Excuse me. Use the blade as a chisel. separate the top from the bottom with an undercut. Well, first of all, I'm going to do a straight cut, straight down cut. And then just a little bit of turn to it so it's imperfect. second cut to clean that out all right next I want to do the little claps clasp there same thing on the clasp or button or whatever covered the blade is up and the other blade is down onto the fabric onto the lid 
again just a little bit of just a little bit and now take and clean that off with my knife tip And then when you paint that, I always paint that gold. Now, I want to do a little bit of scooping like this. Because I want to bend. To get that this part to come out. Just bend. There you go. I do want to take the pencil marks off. Oops. And just take the pencil marks off of this. Then I want to take one of my white ears and just kind of put some imperfections in it. I guess we're going to go down this way is what we're going to do. Just some imperfections. Okay, there's that. All right, as we get back to the beard, I want to do one of these and really So we want to separate the top of the hat with the beanie, the, not the beanie, the beanie from the tassel here. Same here. back put that back in oops that's the round one. Oh, where'd my bee go didn't I have the bee that is the bee right there well what the heck put him back in Okay, let's start in on, on the beard here. As soon as I get this here, sir, I seen that and I just wanted to clean that out of there. Do some cleaning. Uh, 
All right. Now what I've done, I've never really did. Oh, let's put a mouth in before I put the beard in. Just a little half circle here. Half circle here. Again, take the bottom. Okay, he's got kind of a little mouth got a little crooked. And he's gonna do kind of a little ho ho. There we go. Probably a little bit. We'll be probably need a little more cleaning on that mouth. But for right now, let's move on. Now the um, where are we? I could start from here. Kind of almost like a pumpkin. Goes around. Now here it's a few of these. Oh, by the way, we want something like this to go on. I almost forgot about that. Here, let me. Oh, I probably would have done that when I got the ear. Back to perfecting the ear, I suppose. knife about a like I didn't do oh this is a stiff piece of wood about a 20 degree one way mom back 20 degree the other way where it meets and then of course we got one of these one of these One of these. Mm -hmm. And here. All right, same with on this side. Now we have to go to the end here. You pull that out there and do this instead. Get a little more, a little more wood on that side. Flip her over. I didn't go all the way down here. Here, here. here. So a little bit of well I'll take the chisel to that later. There. Right here. There. Next, come back and do a sort of a V. Here, 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 yeah, we got that pelt buckle to, to work 
with. Come back here. 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 Keep going on. Okay, next is we start, we just did some, now we just dig in here, just scoop, scoop, start on this end, because we'll come back on the other side. Oh, I forgot to do this in the back here. Sorry. This. Extra huh. marks there. So while I'm here, I'm as I get it. All right. Okay, so those are kind of all twisted. Now I want to do a quick undercut and bring the beard up a little bit, up and out. There's also a clothing we gotta do a little bit, clothing in the buckle. Uh -huh. 
Undercut, undercut, See how that kind of when you undercut it brings it up a little bit. It really separates the, <coughs> the hair from the rest. And there's a lot of picking. There's quite a bit of picking to do. Okay, that's that. And then we got the last thing, or second to the last thing. Sometimes I do this. I'm going to add this little extra that I sometimes do. Either I remember or I forget. Is. Let me get that out of there. Is. Um, I might take my V and come back again, move it to the knife, and just do a little bit of a twist. I was clean it out and bring in that, each one of those really way out. I'm going to bend this a little bit that way. This way. This way. There. Okay, now that we got the chisel, let's start. I'm gonna start with the mustache. And then we're just going to go around and put the extra. Just here. Too parallel. If, if the lines get too parallel, then do a cross cut there. What the hell? I want this to go close to the the side. That's the side burn. Now what we're going to do here is do one of these thinking that there's an ear in there. But and then the hat is actually going to put the push the hair 
into the ear. So we can't see the ear. See how cross. Here, I'm going to do one. Let's say, let's get this one parallel. This is what you don't want. Unless he's a good sand, he always combs his hair. When you run into, when you goof up and do something like that, and come back and there, it's gonna interrupt that. Carefully don't hurt the ear. here I come down this way. Get in here. We'll have to do some more cleaning up as we go. Now I want to get to the ear. It's right about make this line about right at the eyeball. And make one of these, we're gonna make the little uvula or whatever you call it. So to do this and then this because now we get back to our scooping coming out of there. And I go get out of there. So we're still kind of creating this cone. And since you don't want to get out of there, let's take our five mil number eleven. That's not my brush. That's not how you handle a tool. Now, right about the halfway markish. Now you're going to go beyond the ear because what we're going to do is not only take that chip out, but we're creating the little listening, the listening part of the ear. underneath here. And we also want to get an under scoop here. While we're at it. Still 
a little more coning. Let's separate. Marks off. Just fix V tool, V tool, just on the outer edge, just on the inner edge, pardon me. Just on the inner edge. Oops, I went too far down. And then we'll There's the hair. What we're doing here, before I get to the eye, eye this is going to be about the last thing, but I want to get some of these things that I probably will forget because I think I'm on the last thing. And then, boom, over here, I want to separate this pretty sharply. There you go. Scoop easier. Okay, get in there a little more. Get a little bit here. that kind of separated belt and now we want to put this part and this part in for sure now if we're going to come down the center is this going to be buried you can say that it's buried V Again, the fins up against the buckle, the down is against the belt. Get some lumber out of there. want to get a little deeper and sharper but at least we got it started with the V cut
it is there. Again, that's going to be more straightening out with your picking. Now, as for the gloves, the thumb, he's holding on, the thumb is going to come like this, actually like this. And this thumb is, we're just going to take a little V. As the thumb, take my knife, and here again, away from the thumb. from the thumb. Pencil marks off. Okay, like I said, other than um, like a little detailing or a little bit of cleaning up, we just got the eyeball. And well, of course, we got a, a bird. I'll show you how to do a bird. See what we can do about the stick, but right now, get my nice mechanical pencil. We come in here now. His head is tilted a bit. A bit. It's only a little bit. Where's my smaller nine? Where did he go? Let's go ahead and do one of these. Just one of these to set that a bit deeper. Set that a bit deeper, and of course, in this case, kind of clean that out at the same time. Okay. A little bit with the nose. Now let's see if we can do this. How can I do this? Oh, where's our light? Get our light over here. Oops. 
That's a little better. I'm going to draw. I'm using a mechanical pencil. It's got nice and nice and sharp points most all the time. Getting in here. Like that. Now where do I have my detail knife? I probably I should. He's way over there. Right over here. Cut. I think that might not be as high. Just remember that when I cut the other one there until it gets there then I want this come around there and this comes around here now the outer marks cut the left push we're gonna make tiny chips Flip it around, here, and here, here, and here, and we're going to take that first chip out of there to start the rounding process of the eyeball. Same with on, oops, same with on this side. Way. and this way now we're going to go from the bottom up since this is upside down it'll be towards me and then I'm going to go from the top down and we're just going to take more of that off there because we want the I to be going down because you keep shaping because the pupil is going to be right here. Keep shaping, making it round. Hang on, to those fibers get out of there. Hanging on to single one single fiber. Okay, again, I go up. Oh, I'll be correct two through. No, I didn't. And now we're gonna go up, and then we're gonna go down. And I'm doing this without my visor, which usually I do. And, and when it comes to, I'm gonna, when I clean, I'm going to make this a lot, a lot better. But that's the, the philosophy of rounding that eye step by step. <sighs> rounding that eye. look like one eye is bigger than the other but usually I mean the truth is usually one eye is bigger than the other when you look at people <sighs> and 
Now I am going to take, I'm going to do it just this, do a twist. But at the same time, I'm going to cut this down. Cut this down so the eye would be more seen on the side. So I need to clean. Clean and then also, uh, oh, what did he do? Now, excuse me. Again, we gotta keep shaping and now we're gonna take a little V after I make this side a little bigger. Oh, I forgot one thing. Now, what I did was I took the pencil mark on the outside, but to take the pencil mark on the inside, I want a really tiny round tool. This here is a number 11, about three mils. There. And it cleans, plus it, it adds, puts the socket right down there. Okay. Now, I need to reach for one of my, oh, I got it right here. Okay, just above the eye is the eyelid. Just above the eye. See, I'm still going to do the just a little bit, just a little bit. About ten degree one way. A ten degree the other. There. Went too far over here on this side. Okay. Take one more head, let's take that. Now I'm going to put my knife down like this because I'm going to give him some uh, eyebrow bone. This cut in here, cut in here, cut in here again. Cut in here again. And I'm going to cut this way and get some of that crap out of there at the same time. Take just a little bit off of this so he doesn't look too angry. Now I want to scoop, form that eyebrow bone. Scoop, scoop. Eyebrow bone.
doing some cleaning up. Still kind of futzing with the eye here and there. And I'm going to stop. Take the little V. Or a bigger V. And go deeper because... We do have a lot of brow, brow bone. Okay. Now, um, we just need a lot of cleaning up. There's just a lot of, a lot of cleaning up and maybe a little bit of altering it here and there to make something fit. It's all right. So, oops, got to get away from the, the graphics there when I do that. Okay, now. It is, do a little bit of that, so it is on to the Burt's. Get everything out of the way, get most things out of the way oops my back okay he's other than pickens he's relatively done uh however i gotta want to show you how to carve a couple of couple of birds we'll be right back so now that we're uh done with this santa um I thought I'd just make at least do at least one bird. There's nothing to it except there's a little extra. Let's zoom in if I can. And it comes with the kit comes with three of these. And I have made uh, of course the cardinals number one, and I made um, blue jay because you had red and blue, and then. You take the uh, the little tip off, the little hackle off, round it, and then bring the tail in a little bit, and you can make a little chickadee or nut hatch. But what we'll do is we'll take the center line, Let's do a little center line, and what we'll do is we'll put it in the camera so you can see center line. Okay, then what I do right away is I put the put the wing in. Let's go down here. Where was it? About here. Down here. Now there's there's the wing and the starting the wing because it's going to come out here, 
<clears throat> about here ish <clears throat> now the other thing I like to put in is the body and the tail is going to thin so it's going to thin right about here at the end of the like this actually right about here so the body will give a nice roundness to it Therefore, I'd like to start with my V-tool. Same thing, we want to take and wing up on the wing and with the body fin down like this. Flip it over backwards like this. Okay, I think, oh, I did shrink it a little bit, I'm sorry. I wasn't paying attention. Never done that before. Never done the not pay attention part where it shrunk the wing like that. That was not, that's not right. Yeah, let's fix that. Yeah, that'll, that'll be all right. In fact, we're even going to be taking it way down. <clears throat> like that. Now what we want to do, I want to start with the, usually I start with the head and I just go straight like this. Like that. Getting close to that point, <coughs> come around, do likewise. Mm, this piece of wood kind of has a little bit of twisty to it, almost like, well, I kind of know. That's a good, oops, yeah, it's kind of like, it feels like you're going the wrong way, even though you're going the right way. Wouldn't you know I'd take a bad piece? Because I usually use uh, a lot of my, um, of course, all of my uh, scraps and stuff, obviously. Now, back here. Start rounding here. Get that tip up there. Start rounding here. It's okay on this side. One thing I did neglect with my V is to put one of these in. I'm going to shrink the tail a little bit. Careful how you don't break off too much. Begin to shrink the tail just a little bit. Yeah, this is a bad piece of wood. Wouldn't you know it? Well, I guess I can prove that uh, you can still have a bad piece of wood. Your little leftovers and scrap. Okay, now I'm going to come over here back and make the beak like that and rounding this at the same time and also thinning it too because we want the wing to come out and as we're doing this here's where here's where the magic comes in so the, in that and again we're going to come in Thin that tail, or not thin it, make it narrow it. There you go. 
right at the body. Come back this way. Way to take some of that beak off, sorry. We'll get to it. And again, we are at the bad side. Oh, so what direction was it supposed to go in this direction? If it was a good piece of wood. And again, we want to kind of thin the body a little bit so the wing will come out. Oh my goodness. And it being a tiny piece is not helping. And again, we're going to dig here for the body. Careful, I remember this is, <coughs> this is a bad piece of wood. So it is possible, you know, you have a real bad piece of wood, you still can get things done on it if you're careful. Now finish. Oh, geez, it's hard to hold on to this thing. Okay, now finish the roundness of the bottom. Bottom of the body. Same with around the beak. One last clean on the beak there. Careful. Now we, on this end, I do want to kind of like give it kind of like a neck so that the, that the head will be just a little bit smaller than the body. So it does kind of separate. Oh man, it's just going the wrong direction here. Let's clean this up and round. Still a matter of more cleanup. The wing will go to here. Oh, jeez. And bring the wing back a little bit. The wing needs to be about 45 degree angle this way. 45 degree angle this way. And now it's just a matter of adjusting. We want to thin that tail quite a bit. Oh, I'm getting cramps in my, my thumb muscle here. Palm thumb muscle. Ooh. Now it's a matter of adjusting here and there. We got it started. And then I want to round the tail a little bit, a little bit. And on top of here, remember, be careful that you don't take too much off in the back, especially the top back. Oh, geez, yeah, that cramped my, because this is a bad piece of wood, and I have to hold on to it funny. A little more, put a little more, again, on the body here, take out the tail, and that's just generally it. Other than any kind of cleaning up and adjustments, 
that you got to do in this. I don't know if I put the neck on this side here because it does kind of thin and then clean up this. Another take the saw marks off. And generally, that is it on the bird, other than adjusting, cleaning. And that's if you want to put an extra dent in the wings here for separation. You might want to thin the tail out a little more. But again, generally that's it. Other than any kind of extra detailing, sorry about this wing here. I just did not pay attention for some reason. Again, thinning the tail some or narrowing. And again, that is it other than cleanups and adjustments. <clears throat> and then you can do, like I said, you can either paint this like a blue jay, paint it like a cardinal, look at some uh, uh, bird pictures. What do you want? Yeah, he would like this one here. If I'd had three of these, I'd have this one here. On here or here, however which way you want to turn it. But yeah, I'd have to clean that up. If I want to put him there. And what I do is I drill a hole, <coughs> a tiny hole. Oh, geez, where are you? There, like this. Except, like I said, he's going to... Punky, I'll have to fix that or put them over on the other side with the stick on top, however you want them. And uh, like I said, to paint it red for a cardinal, blue for a blue jay, whack that off, bring the tail in a bit, and you can make a chickadee or a nuthatch. Let's play with the big stick. Oh, let's, move, let's open this a little bit here. Actually, I don't think I'm going to, there's just nothing more that I could show you other than you take, make a bigger peg into a smaller peg and shrink it and turn it. So I won't go any farther. Or he would be looking this way. This way. Yeah, I don't think I could give you anything more of any value that you already figured out or more like this, like they're looking at each other or he's looking at him up here. Third one on here. I even one time I had the nut hatch, like right here, on the stick. But there you have it. That's you can carve the stick any shape shape you want. I don't know anymore. Making a square peg or uh, 
bigger peg into a smaller peg. I think you can figure that out. <coughs> but there it is. Uh, actually, I'll come back again. I'm going to pick, pick it, and then I'll come back. Thank you.